I realized a long time ago that color was going to be the way to create a lot of impact very quickly. I'm Raymond Boozer. I'm the principal designer of Apartment 48 Interiors. We do mostly residential, but we do a lot of commercial interiors too, and we're based in Manhattan. I, I tell my clients that color is the least expensive way that you can experiment with design. A long time ago, I got the nickname of the color guru. And I don't see myself as such a guru as I am more of a person who's not afraid of color. I like to experiment with colors and put together unexpected combinations. And I think that it just kind of became like a thing for me. We're in my studio where we do most of our work. I start everything with a sketch and I usually try to use a lot of colors because I want to sneak a lot of color in. And this was a project that was really successful at getting a lot of color into is for build series. And we did a really cool VIP lounge using great wallpaper from Australia, lots of velvets and psychedelic colors for pillows. The ceiling we painted pink and then the accent walls are blue and then everything is trimmed out in black. In design school, we were taught to focus on three colors maximum in a room, like primary colors versus complementary colors. And then a secondary color, like an accent. But for me, it was never enough to just do three colors. I try to do as many colors as makes sense in an interior. And the way that I weave them in is I try to have a story behind the entire interiors, like say it's like nautical theme, so that's clearly blue and white. But blue and white, it's not just blue and white, blue and white is blue and aqua, it's blue and like turquoise sea foam, it's cream, it's navy, you know, so it's not just two colors, it's like five, six colors, but all shades of blues and whites. For me, the way I get my clients to dip their toe into the color realm is to suggest that we paint a wall. And I'll show them a bunch of options. And I'll put swatches up on the wall. And once they see that that looks good and they're happy with it, I can bring them into wallpaper and other ways to bring color in to like really punch up the room. Certain colors have gone in and out of style. Like in the early 2000s, pastels were super popular, but now, no one wants pastels except for pink, and pink has become the color of the millennium. Pink is the new white. Gray has also become a color that's replaced white, and you see gray everywhere. People use gray as like the color to say that this is the baseline. I think that the way to properly choose a color is to balance it with something else. So if you're gonna use like a cool gray, I would balance it with like a white or like a like a light blue. But if you're gonna do a warm gray, then you can go into like the red tones, yellows, other warm tones that go with that family of color. I believe that certain colors are more flattering to people. I think that pink is a really good color for a room like a bedroom. Yellow is also a good color in certain shades if you want like your complexion to look warmer. One thing about color is it pulls out everything that is like not obvious in that situation. So whatever the background is, it's gonna enhance whatever it is and balance whatever you're setting in front of it. One color I think is not good for people is green. And green is one of the colors that will pull out the green in your face and nobody wants to look green. I think the most underrated color is purple. I think that people think they don't like purple, but they really do. There's so much purple in nature, like some of the most beautiful flowers and orchids are purple, lavender is purple. Purple is like a passionate color. It's associated with royalty. And I'd say 90% of my clients, they'll say, how do you feel about purple? They'll say, I don't like it. 
But I think I've proven time and time again that purple can be really, really, really special. It's poetic, it's sweet, and it can also be like dramatic, but I think it's one of the most underused colors, and I think it's one of the most like desirable colors. I think if, if someone's apprehensive about color, maybe they want to dip their toe in the water by painting a wall a color, getting some throw pillows in a bright color, buying a piece of artwork with color in it. Just little ways to bring color into your home. I think they see the colors I choose as some expression of optimism, which I hope is true. I do believe that life should feel good and your home should rise up to meet you. And I think that color is one of the easiest ways to make that happen.